What's going on, guys? Welcome back to WWE Network and show where I, Graham Jesus and Matthews, break down all the original content they watch on the WWE Network and on Peacock. And today we're talking the June 12, 2023 edition of Raw Talk. Megan Morant and Matt Camp hosting. They open up the episode recapping the opening segment and uh, Rhea Ripley being presented with her new Women's World Championship, which is a great-looking title. Exactly as we expected, it's basically the Men's World Heavyweight Championship, just without the heavyweight in the name, obviously and with a white strap instead of a black strap. And it looks great. Honestly, Raw got the better of the belt swap. I don't know if that's the right term to use, but had the better of the belt war than SmackDown did. SmackDown with the kind of lazy-looking WWE title design they've had for a fucking decade now. The new World Heavyweight Championship designs for the men and the women look great. So, they recap that the Cody Rhodes... Miz match, Cody Rhodes, you know, challenging Dominic Mysterio to a match of Money in the Bank, that being made official. The hype up Cody and Dominic uh, for Money in the Bank, that being a one-on-one -on -one non-title match, no championships involved there, but it should be a an electric environment in London for how over Cody Rhodes will be as a fan favorite and how over Dominic will be as a heel, so I look forward to that. Um, they recap the Becky Lynch-Chelsea Green match won by Becky Lynch. We hear from Becky Lynch backstage here on Raw Talk with uh, Byron Saxton. We catch her mid-climb on a ladder, so she brings a ladder backstage and starts ascending and descending the ladder as preparation for the women's Money in the Bank ladder match that she qualified that she qualified for last week. She says that she's got a lot on her plate right now. She's got a target on her back. Imagine how much bigger that target will be when she becomes Miss Money in the Bank and champion. But she knows when she has both the briefcase and the championship, which won't be simultaneous, obviously, catching the briefcase for the championship. Um, she knows that she'll have power and she looks forward to that. So back in the studio, they hype up the women's Money in the Bank ladder match. Five of six women announced. I think a Raw women's superstar spot is available, which they haven't announced yet. They didn't do it on the show last night. They didn't do it on, they didn't announce it for Raw next week. So I don't know who that final spot is going to. Maybe Candice when she's ready to come back. I'm not quite sure. Maybe Raquel, but she lost to Shane in like a fucking minute and a half last night. So I'm not really sure how many people would care about that. But I think it's Becky, Zoe, and then on SmackDown, Bailey, Io, and Zelina. So that's the current field for the women's Money in the Bank ladder match. Uh, Megan Moran says that Becky will put herself on the cover of a magazine post Money in the Bank, which is what Trish Stratus, you know, Zoe said Trish was doing right now in her absence from Raw. So Megan is pulling for Becky to win that women's Money in the Bank ladder match. Uh, we hear from Zoe Stark backstage here on the show as well. She said that she was handling business in the absence of Trish Stratus while she's away doing magazine cover shoots and whatever. And that briefcase is coming to her. So a short, sweet, straightforward promo here from Zoe Stark. Um, a little less convoluted than what we heard from her on Raw, which I like the promo overall. It was far from a great promo, but practice makes perfect. Give her more reps. Uh, these people, men, women, doesn't matter. They will not get over when they come up from NXT unless they're given significant character development consistent television time and reps on the mic and a chance to address the audience in person. So even with Trish not being there, I thought it was great. We got to hear from Zoe on the show. That was my big takeaway from that segment, even if it wasn't great stuff. Uh, Megan called Zoe's actions the last couple of weeks, you know, costing Becky a win against Trish and standing up to her on Raw this week. Bold. She said her actions are bold. And Matt Kemp questions if Trish will return the favor for Zoe helping her win a night of champions. If she will return the favor by helping Zoe win the Money in the Bank briefcase coming up on July 1st. That's a good question. I don't know. I don't think she will or even attempt to, but it would make sense. I mean, if Trish really cares about Zoe, which we don't know if she does yet because she hasn't exactly helped her do anything. I think Zoe beat Natalia on her own on Raw last week. Um, then uh, it, it'll be interesting to see if Trish attempts to return the favor at Money in the Bank or if it's just thwarted by Becky Lynch anyway. And maybe Zoe and Becky kind of cancel each other out. They recap the Matt Riddle and Damian Priest men's Money the Bank qualifier for Monday night, won by Damian Priest. Clean, good match, and a surprising, a pleasantly surprising outcome. Very happy that Damian Priest will be in that match, and Gunther and Riddle probably having a match on their own for the Intercontinental Championship. Um, they replay the Seth Rollins and Balor segment, setting up their World Heavyweight Championship match from Money in the Bank. Uh, Matt Cam says that Balor needs to stop letting Rollins push his buttons. And he says that Rollins is consistently at the top of his game right now. They hype up next week's open challenge for the World Heavyweight Championship. Another fucking open challenge in wrestling. Uh, this one being by... I mean, they did the Damian Priest match was an open challenge too. But Rollins issued it and Damian quickly answered it. Maybe someone will answer it. You know, maybe even Braun Breaker tonight on NXT. I'm not sure. Um, but right now it's being billed as an open challenge for that show next week. 
We also hear from uh, Alpha Academy on the show because they recap the Chad Gable-Eric match from Raw. And Maxine says that she's proud of herself for doing that uh, arm drag on Valhalla during the Gable and Eric match. Gable says uh, every student is backed by a great coach, and he says that he's the best coach. And they will keep working on technique, but they have to add nutrition. And he orders Otis to get the beef. And that was that. So an entertaining little segment here. No one cared about the match itself between Gable and Eric. It was short-lived anyway. But the Alpha Academy stuff gets a chuckle out of me. Um, they recap the main event that saw Owens and Zayn retain their tag team titles against Imperium's Gunter and Ludwig Kaiser. Uh, great match there. They also hype up the tag team gauntlet match that determined the number one contenders to the undisputed WWE tag team titles coming up on SmackDown this week. And they also plug Bailey and Shayna Baszler coming up on the bump on Wednesday. Uh, good stuff here from Raw Talk. I enjoyed the Alpha Academy segment. It was... You know, cute, short, sweet, straight to the point, whatever. Zoe, Becky also hyping up their feud in the women's Money in the Bank ladder match. More hype for Money in the Bank, which is coming up. Not quick. I mean, they have some time between Net of Champions and Money in the Bank. But I think so far, I didn't think last week's I didn't I didn't think last night's Raw was as good as last week. And I'm probably biased because I was at Raw last week in Hartford. Um, but I did think it was a solid show overall, and I do think they're doing a decent job of filling the time between the pay-per-views. And it was a bigger stretch than usual between Money in the Bank and uh, money between Money in the Bank and Net of Champions, it's like five or six weeks as opposed to three, like, like with um, uh, the Backlash pay per view and Net of Champions in May. But still, I think they've done a decent job on the on the Raw side, a decent job on the Raw side, and even on SmackDown as well of filling the time and creating some interesting programming. Uh, thank you guys for checking out my review of Raw Talk for Monday night. I appreciate it. Be sure to like the video, drop a comment, share the video, and subscribe to the channel for more daily content. Have an awesome one, guys. I'm Graham G. S. Matthews, and I'll catch your ass down the road.